Looks like they got a supercharged S13 here. Mm -hmm. Simple, clean, white and gold. But we're sticking to the door of this S13. Nice, smooth, low power drift battles. What's up everybody and welcome back for another Torch Drift episode today looking at my street tune 500 and I believe 21 horsepower 180 SX definitely 500 horsepower is so good and it feels so nice just a simple little uh, gray and sponsored livery logo on this car but uh, we're going to take a look at it have a little fun with it and uh, just uh, get these uh, green MST wheels spinning maybe get some tandems and stuff we do have four sponsor crates. Not sure if I want to open them right now because I don't want to uh, mess up the horsepower rating or anything on this car. So we're just going to leave it how it sits. We'll do a sponsorship crate build here very soon. So it looks like we got the needle and we got Skyline. So we are going to just hop right into the Skyline and uh, get some tandems with the 180 SX streetcar. I say streetcar because it's not a thousand horsepower like straight big uh, power thing. But it is a lot of fun. And uh, we're going to have some fun with it. 520 horsepower feels so good in this car. Looks like we're going against a 654 horsepower E46. So let's uh, just get into this and uh, see how we do. We're going to start in third gear. This car runs third gear very well. We're running those import next and tires. We're going to kick it in on the wall. Good initiation right on the front. Kicking it sideways. Staying. We're going to run this as close as we can. Get as many of those close call points as we can. Kick it in. Like I said, 500 horsepower feels so good in this car, and it feels so good. Period. Not super fast, but nice and flowy. Definitely a good power rating. So been super excited to rip this 180 sex. I'm sure a lot of people have seen it um, before. You know, I'm bringing you guys this video because I have been out running it to get the Pro 2 level so they can get those MST wheels. It looks like we have a huge advantage, and he's not going to want to try. 
give him a rebatch though and see he probably tanked the wall so if you guys want to keep seeing torch drift builds and time lapse and stuff like that let me know down in the comment section down below i will definitely uh do more torch drift videos Ooh, wall tap we didn't get initiation points as how i wanted to but we're going to throw that a little bit too much we are going to miss that try and link that almost lost the front bumper on that that would have uh, definitely ended this run for high point standards using the throttle the left foot braking and uh we'll come across the line not as good as our last run but still a decent run nonetheless so let's see what we're going against against hair probably harris but h4 rr15 and 42 for him 78 for me looks like he's probably did not have a good clean run how he wanted to we are going to get a chance to chase him down so we're going to get to throw the chase ability of this car here on skyline ran that a little bit wider than i wanted to but uh we're still keeping our own a little bit for the back looks like that car has a little bit more grip than i do oh and that's all she wrote for him right there as i just tank it into the wall as well trying to slow up went in to uh catch up to try and get some more tandem points but did not anticipate how fast this is going to go past me so unfortunately did not do a very good chase how i wanted to but i believe we'll still be able to take the win 90 to 61 we will we're gonna give this guy one more try harris let's see if we can't get a solid run watch i'm gonna make a mistake on this run he's gonna get a solid run so like this one asx definitely a lot of fun to drive it's got pro angle kit pro suspension uh and stuff like that i'll go through the build basically a, almost a build breakdown on it after we run some tandems with it because i know it's all about the tandems here and uh you guys come to see come see the cars drive and uh see what the cars are all about so this video is for you guys to show you the 180 and all its glory and tandems the building of this simple livery nothing nothing exquisite you know it's nice clean livery nothing crazy this is going to be a close battle we're definitely going to have to stay on our chase if we're going to want to take a chance to take this win so we're going to have to uh lay into his door all the wheel spin on the start throw an angle trying to get the close call points Kind of running our own line, but still close enough to get points. Gonna cut that angle a little bit to stay close. Throw massive amounts of angle, little handbrakes. Some left foot braking to get back up against the wall and a very decent chase. Been working more and more with the left foot brake like I do in Forza and Assetto, and it's working out. I know clutch kicks and left foot brakes in this game are definitely how tandem battles are won, but we did lose that because he got a massive chase on us so unfortunately we did take the loss on that one but gg mr gg harris and uh gg to you on that run looks now we're going against a thousand horsepower vehicle on some custom nexon so this is going to be an uphill battle to start off unfortunately because i've won a lot of battles with this car i'm in the pro 2 level um, of ranking and i'm going against a lot of high powered cars and I tend to lose gapping um, on some of the starts of the tracks because of the lock, lack of grip that the car has and the low powerness of it. We're going to run that wall. That's definitely probably the best run that we've done so far today here on Skyline. Yep, definitely the best run we've done on Skyline for today, 98 to 81. So got a little bit of a buffer, but we're going to have to definitely... Uh, Throw, uh, throw doors to make sure we get a decent chase run. And it looks like he has lack of grip on the start, so which is good for us to catch up, but he is definitely fast going sideways, so I'm gonna have to probably cut the corner through this section to uh, gain proximity. And probably try and get his door there like that, cut the corner, you know, sacrifice some uh, distance to gain door to get more points so hopefully we come out a win on this one and uh probably head to the Ebzu track after this and uh then we'll do a little build breakdown of the car for you guys and we did take the win 24 26 he did best me on the chase my lead was what gave me the advantage so we're gonna go and take a look at one more run here at the needle 
a little uh, low power Ebizu drifting, and then we'll take a look at the parts that are on this 180 and uh, go from there. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. If you guys like these videos and you want to see more, let me know in the comments. I know a bunch of people are asking me to do an S13 build. I do have an S13, but I feel like we're going to redo an S13. That guy's got an S13. I think we're going to uh, rework that S13 with some crates and uh, do a full S13 build. Don't know how high the S13 is because this car is going to stay where it's at. I like the power curve that this car's in. We initiated too soon, so we didn't get initiation points. This is probably going to be our downfall of this run. But the car is nice and flowy. And uh, it just it likes to likes to drift, likes to stay sideways. Cut that a little bit too short. So we did miss that uh, clipping point. We just barely missed that one as well. So not the best run here on the needle, but still a decent run. So we got 39 to 41. It's gonna be a close battle. We're gonna have to stay on his door in order to come out with a win on this and hope he does a mistake in his chase run. So we are gonna just try and not lose him off the start. Here's supercharger underneath that S13. Looks like they got a supercharged S13 here. Simple, clean, white, and gold. But we're sticking to the door of this S13. Nice, smooth, low power drift battles. You don't need a lot of power to drift. You can drift at 500. It's easy in the game. So a very solid chase run for us here on the needle. We may do one more. And we took the win just barely. We were able to come out on top with that chase run, being able to stay on his door. So we're gonna do one more here, and then we're gonna go check out the parts on this car and uh, go from there to another build, which may be an S13 or something on those lines, maybe an E21. I know everybody's been asked for an S13, so we're probably gonna do a crate build S13. So we got uh, Vedsad. And uh, he's in an S13 as well. A little uh, 240 love here for today's episode at Ebazoo. So we're gonna wait to do our initiation until right there. But that was not even late enough to get initiation points. The needle, I have a hard time getting those initiation points correct on the slower cars uh, due to how much wheel spin it has and the lack of grip compared to like my E46 gearing and stuff like that. Gonna be working on the gearing in this car to uh, get a better start. Oh, just having the wall at the end and probably losing some critical clean lap. 41 to 19. So we do have the better lead. So we're gonna chase this man down in his S13. And, uh, looks like he's got the Kinwan, the Kinwanga, however you pronounce it, on the back of his car. Throwing doors. Oh, he threw that way early and basically had a double initiate here. We're gonna suck back up on this man's door. And he is over revving. Oh man. Go upshift gear, one gear, and you probably will be solid, dude. So I believe we're gonna take the win here on the needle in our 180. We did. So we're gonna go take a look at the build breakdown of this car. Give you guys a little look at it. We won't go too much into settings unless you guys wanna see the settings on a later episode. We're just gonna take a look at what we're rocking for parts here for today in this 180. So for the parts, we are rocking a stock engine, stock SR20, which we may up it to maybe a ported SR20, stock intercooler, stock exhaust, import clutch, and uh, Aftermarket turbo, import ECU, import intake, and force suspension is where most of the money was put into this car, which was the pro angle kit, custom wheels, pro coilovers. We're running out import tires and an import brake. And then in the back of the car, we are running import uh, differential. And we are rocking that super doof body kit. So if you guys like this and you want to see more of this, let me know down in the comment section down below. As always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I will see you guys on the next one.